So if you're fortunate enough to not have been on social media as of lately, uh, as someone who is on social media pretty frequently, unfortunately, let me fill you in on what's been happening. Amazon, in an effort to thwart the unionization effort that's currently taking place in Bessemer, Alabama, has become increasingly desperate to the point where they're embarrassing themselves. Now, at the time I filmed this video, it's already the case that the employees at the Amazon warehouse in Bessemer, Alabama have voted on the union. We're currently just awaiting the results. So if you know more about this by the time you see this video, um, just understand that at the time I filmed this, I don't necessarily know the outcome of said vote. Having said that, though, the lead up to this has been quite interesting because Amazon has gotten a lot more vocal lately on social media, literally going after politicians like Bernie Sanders, Mark Pocan, and We've also noticed, for those of us on Twitter, a really large influx in the number of trolls that we've seen online. Now, it's really difficult to pr prove that it's Amazon who's behind 100% of these accounts. A lot of parodies have popped up. But still, Amazon hasn't even really been trying. So if this account here is Amazon, it's hilarious because they didn't even bother <laughs> to pay for a stock image. They just used the actual photo of the Dude Perfect YouTube channel. And if they wanna use any photo from a YouTuber, this is not it because this is a YouTube channel with more than 50 million subscribers. So either it's the case that they stole this photograph from Dude Perfect or the man from Dude Perfect, the star of that channel, has time to not only work at Amazon, but also tweet about how terrible unions are. I don't believe this like at all, just so you know. And given that a lot of these accounts have been purged by Twitter, I'm assuming automatically, it really goes to show you that Amazon didn't really even try to hide their astroturfing. And they've even been responding to journalists in leftist circles. So Walker Bragman tweeted out that Amazon workers should vote yes on the union. And a paid shill responded to that. And um, I can't show you what that page shill said because their account was purged. But if you watch a video by David Dole of the Rational National, he did a really good job at breaking down just how ridiculous all of these fake accounts are. And what's interesting is that they're all saying the same thing. So I assumed, and many also assumed, that these have got to be bots. Like they're not actually human beings behind these tweets because who would... Who would say these things? Normal human beings wouldn't say something like this about their employer. Who speaks glowingly about their employer? I've worked at Walmart. I've worked at Subway. I hate them. They're terrible. So you're never going to hear somebody speak glowingly about a company, a company as shitty as Amazon. So it's just hilarious to me that, you know, they, they would use these robots. Or so I thought, because apparently, according to a new report by journalist Ken Klippenstein, these aren't even robots. These are actual human beings that Amazon paid. They hired these folks to do astroturf, to do propaganda and defend them salvage their reputation, and stop the unionization effort. So Ken Klippenstein writes, Amazon's Twitter army was handpicked for great sense of humor. Leaked document reveals. We didn't see any of that, by the way. Uh, Amazon ambassadors were trained to defend Jeff Bezos and clap back at Bernie Sanders under a program codenamed Veritas. Now he goes on to explain, anticipating criticisms of worker conditions at their fulfillment centers in particular, Amazon designed Veritas to train fulfillment center workers chosen for their great sense of humor to confront critics, including policymakers on Twitter, in a blunt manner. The document, produced as part of the pilot program in 2018 and marked Amazon.com confidential, also includes examples of how its ambassadors can snarkily respond to criticisms of the company and its CEO. Several examples involve Senator Bernie Sanders, a longtime critic of the $1 trillion firm who has been targeted by it in recent days. It also provides examples of how to defend Bezos, to address speculation and false assertions in social media and online forums about the quality of the fulfillment center associate experience we are creating a new social team staffed with active tenured fc employees who will be empowered to respond in a polite but blunt way to every untruth the project description reads fc ambassadors fca will respond to all posts and comments from customers influencers including policymakers and media questioning the fc associate experience kelly nantel an amazon spokesperson said via email FC ambassadors are employees who work in our fulfillment centers and choose to share their personal experience. Sure, Kelly. The FC ambassador program helps show what it's actually like inside our fulfillment centers, along with the public tours we provide. In 2018, Amazon 
admitted that the ambassadors were employees paid to honestly share the facts about what working in its fulfillment centers is like. Many Twitter users had at first believed the ambassadors were automated bot accounts due to the nearly identical format of their account bios, all of which feature the Amazon Smile logo and begin with the handle at Amazon FC. But that format was specifically mandated by Amazon, the Intercepts document shows. We could also add an emoji to the username to give personality, for example, small box emoji the document suggests. So this is hilarious to me. This is the worst AstroTurf campaign I've ever seen. They should have outsourced it, but they're too cheap to do even that. But they hire people for their good sense of humor, but yet they train them to talk to people online as if they're robots. And the only thing that they can do to actually allow their personality to shine through is add an emoji to their name. I mean, this is absolutely embarrassing. And they're going through all of this, all this headache, this effort, all to stop one union. So that goes to show you that Unions are very powerful, and if they're doing all of this to stop one union, they know that this could catalyze a domino effect where more and more Amazon warehouses around the country start to unionize. And they know that all of this that they're doing, all of this funding of AstroTurf Online and attempts to union bust, all of this is cheaper than actually allowing their employees to unionize because they know that if their employees had unions, they'd be paying them a lot more than the $15 an hour that they brag about. So this story is hilarious. It's so pathetic. This is a multi-billion dollar company, a trillion dollar firm, as the article lays out. And their bots are just terrible. Their page shills are terrible. I mean, even David Brock's page shills for Hillary Clinton back in 2015 did a better job at humanizing themselves and, and didn't let you know that they were paid bots as easily, even though it was still obvious. But this is just next level. And the... Uh, frequency that we see them confront people online is honestly startling. Like we've all come into contact with these Amazon bots and every time it happens, they get dunked on and then the account ends up getting deleted. So it's just, it's sad, uh, but uh, good. I'm glad that Amazon is getting embarrassed and exposed because they deserve it given how poorly they treat their employees. Thank <laughs> you.